Hey guys, it's Marisa, and welcome back to my channel, Wet Pink Contemporary. If you want to learn how to create your own art studio and your own home, okay, I'm going to give you five tips to create any type of art studio you need to do your genre of or niche of uh, art that you create, okay? I'm going to give you five tips that I have learned going through almost a whole year of creating my own art studio that is perfect for me. So if you want to learn, stay tuned and I'll be right back with the five important tips. Hey guys, so this is tip one, number one. Now this is, I did a art studio tour, like a little upgrade uh, video the other day. Now, whether you do YouTube videos or not, okay, and, and what, no matter what type of art you do, this is going to be helpful. And I just learned this from my personal journey through the last year, actually, creating the perfect studio for me. No matter what type of art, now this setup is not going to be good for everyone, but this is like a something that's good for me. I do fluid art. I do abstract painting. I also do resin art. Um, I also do paper crafting. So this works for a whole bunch of different stuff, whether you draw. Now, of course, if you do sculpture, lithography, it's going to be different. But these are just tips to get you started. If you don't have any of this, now, a year ago, I had none of this. I did not have and, and I'm talking about the paintings as well, none of it. And very quickly, the first tip is use what you have. This is actually the best tip and the most important one when you first get started, because as you go, you're gonna build up. Use what you already have. Two things I already had that I could think of right off the bat um, was these used, yoga mats okay now um someone that i knew was going to throw them away and i said you know what no i'm going to take them don't throw them away there's two of them here i don't do yoga but i already had plans i had plans that i was going to uh, start at some point um my art studio and i made excuses for years and years as years i don't have the space i don't have the space i don't have the space well finally i made the space because i really wanted it so badly and by the way i live in a new york city apartment okay in queens my apartment is big but this space here is my living room okay so number one use the space that you have a lot of people especially if you're living in new york in a big city you may not have the money to rent a space. Uh, living in an apartment, we don't have basements. We don't have even a terrace. Sometimes, some people do. But, you know, there is no extra room. So I had to use the space that I already have. Did I sacrifice certain things? Uh, absolutely. Um, my family understands and they're amazing. They know I'm an artist. They know I'm passionate. So... They get it. This room is mine. I claim this room. This room is mine. I had to move some furniture around and finally I created the space that I needed. Okay. So the yoga mats are the first things that I had. Um, and I'm going to show you really quick. Sorry about the ring light, but I just want to show you that's part of my setup as well. And that's if you make video. Okay. So this would be good if you make YouTube videos or videos for like, you know, Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Uh, lighting is also important. Um, but maybe you just need some extra lighting to create anyway. And you don't make a video. Okay, that's fine too. And a ring light is actually not bad. Okay, so I had the um, yoga mats. Now I'm going to show you really quick where I started. I started and I'm actually doing a course, a free course online. Uh, I actually paid a little money to get this extra information about, um, this is by Think Media. So I'm going to move that really quick, but I just want to show you that because that's something that I want to kind of like learn more and all that. This table here, this glass table where I have my printer underneath, um, and it was always underneath there. Um, and some like more office supplies. This is the table. This is the spot where I started making my YouTube um, videos, but also just the YouTube where I started creating 
fluid art, okay? Just this little space right here, this little corner, that's it. That's what I had. I did have the big table. The light I had was the window, and I had that little, um, I had one ring light. That was it. And it cost me like 20, 30 bucks. That's it. That's all I had. So I just want to show you the space that is. It is nothing. Then I went to this space. However, I didn't have that table. And I was literally um, creating on the floor on the yoga mats and, um, and shooting video on the floor. And so, you know, you can do this. Um, like I said, it's not really so much about <clears throat> if you want to make video, that's great. But if you just want to create and, you know, start somewhere, anywhere, okay? Um, yeah, so that is tip number one is use what you have. See what you have first, then see what you need, okay? The essential things that you need to get started to creating your own wonderful space to be the most creative you can be. And I will be back for tip number two. All right, so tip number two is absolutely 100% do research and see what you need and use discount codes, coupon codes, if you're buying online or even in person, okay? Do not pay full price for anything, okay? See what you need and um, use coupon codes. I recently said that I bought this beautiful um, three-tiered uh, organizational thingamajig, <laughs> okay, the trays. Um, usually at Michael's, they are $60, and I've been looking at this specific one in this color um, for a couple of years. I'm like, well, you know what? No, I know that Michael's has uh, sales, and I got it for $30, okay? I got it for $30. Um, also, discount stores. Uh, this I got all these, okay, from my local discount store. Each piece cost me $2.50, okay? And I could continue to build up all the way to the ceiling if I want. I have really high ceilings. I have 10-foot ceilings. If I wanted, you know, then it, it may tip over at one point and be hard to get to, but you know what I'm saying. I can still add. Two dollars and fifty cents in my local, and maybe you know what? At the Dollar Tree, maybe they have these for a dollar. I have not seen them personally. Otherwise, believe me, I'd be at the Dollar Tree, and that's another place. Discount stores. Go to your Dollar Tree. Go to your discount stores. You do not have to pay full price um, for these big companies to get these organizational things. And I figured for me, plastic was perfect. Plastic or metal. I got this at Staples. This was my first one. This guy right here, super helpful. Super, super helpful. 20 or $25, I bought this. 20 bucks, I believe it was. These were $2.50 each. And I do have some more over here in this little space. Again, $2.50 each. Now I'm using them for my um, canvas. Okay, that's what I'm doing. I also have this other table here I use to display things, things I've already worked on recently. I put them here and then figure out where I want to put them, whether I want to hang it out, uh, hang them up or not. Again, use what you have, use discount codes, and also what I have done for these lights and all these uh, like tripods and camera holders and all that is I actually use payment plans as well. Um, Zezel, Afterpay, um, and that's another thing. Uh, I get all, a lot of my Arteza, Arteza um, products is I use Afterpay. Okay, it's not, and also they do have coupon codes as well. Okay, so that's how I started building up a lot of my art supplies. I paid it off little by little. Okay, you may not have sixty dollars. You may not have a hundred dollars. You may not have twenty dollars to buy some art supplies, depending on what you're doing. Um, I know for me, I'm paint, you know, I do art, I uh, paint. So for like Arteza has products, they use Afterpay. If it's uh, over $35, um, they break it down into, f I think, four payments, um, four equal payments. And it's like every two weeks you pay it off. Well, I don't have $60 right now. I really want these paints. I need paint. Well, guess what? I can afford $15 every two weeks, okay? So that is uh, tips, is use discount codes, go to discount stores, buy things on sale, 
and you can you know if you would like to use the payment plans it has absolutely helped me to get where I am today to build up all my art supplies okay I'm coming back with tip number three right, tip number three organization is king when you have limited amount of space now again this is a pretty big room okay I'm giving you a really uh, behind the scenes here this is a pretty big room okay but maybe you have a room half the size I have the option of having this beautiful space I have you know all this room here um, not every New York City apartment has this maybe even your household you may have a room but maybe it's small maybe you have a piece of your basement okay that you can use maybe you can use a really nice finished attic but it's small okay so organization is king so depending on what type of art you do you have to decide for yourself what is best for you but the best thing to do is you have to be organized you make the most of your space that you have okay in reality I am taking up quite a bit of the space here I'm literally taking half of half of the room with all of this but this is you know everyone respects my space that's wonderful but you know maybe you don't even have the option to do this maybe you're only gonna have this little tiny corner here just imagine you have just one corner just one corner what are you gonna do with that one corner how are you gonna optimize your space well what type of artwork you do do you just draw well maybe you just need something as simple as this you can spend ten to twenty dollars I have paper down here so if you just draw you just need one of these you need a small table and a chair to sit and that's it maybe you're a sculptor you're gonna need a table you're gonna need certain areas to put your supplies in maybe this would be best for you something like this so you have to figure out what type of artwork do you do okay maybe you're a crafter well that's a whole different ball game you're gonna need maybe small little containers within this and that's what I've done I have actually put smaller objects in here so I could just pull this whole thing out that's for my resin these are other molds and guess what I got these in the Dollar Tree okay Dollar Tree Dollar Tree okay don't need to spend a lot of money those little cabin um, these little guys right here the little baskets Dollar Tree okay and guess what this was a box I got from some art supplies and I use it and I use the best of my space so I slide it out underneath and that is a lot of my resin stuff okay so use your space wisely and organization is king all right guys tip number four this is more of a feeling than a tip but you know it is a tip because you know if you're a crafter you're an artist you sell whatever it is that you do create a space that fires up your creativity look what I did I created my own art gallery okay I can't get a space an art gallery but this when I see all the things and all the paintings that I created I get fired up to do more so create a space that fires up your creativity that gives you motivation okay I took up and this is not all okay I have a couple of different walls in my house down my hallway right here and behind the, uh, this curtain where I have more of my art and that's another thing I give myself a little privacy okay and I put these curtains here people know I'm recording people know I want to be maybe I need a little time to create so but create a space and that's enough but those curtains are very important it's allowing the rest of my family to know oh Marisa's recording right now let's be quiet you know they, that's their cue that's my cue to them that I am busy right now and just you know especially when I'm recording if I'm just doing art they can come in as they want but create a space that fires you up that gives you the motivation something that makes you feel good that's comfortable for you okay I ha I use this couch here this is also a futon 
okay? And I sleep on here sometimes. Perfect. What do I do here? I edit my videos, okay? I take notes. I do some studying uh, with learning more about YouTube. So I'm using my space to the best of my uh, capability to create the space that works best for me and quite probably a, a lot of other people as well. Okay, I have my printer right there. It's what is going to fire you up? What makes you feel good? I am, this is my favorite room in the house because there's a flow to it. It makes me feel comfortable, warm, and secure. I don't have to worry about anything. This is my space for me to, to create. And actually, a lot of people that visit us, they love this room. Why? Because it's warm and inviting. Okay? Why? Because I put my energy into it, and it is a creative, loving, wonderful space. Okay? So that's what you have to do. Pick, just pick a space and, you know, put it together in a way that will motivate you to keep on creating, especially in these times. Okay? Up next is the fifth and final tip of the day. Okay. Tip number five, last final tip of the day. And if you guys want more of this, please hit the subscribe button, notification bell, so you never miss one of my videos. Let me know if you really enjoy this content, if you like me to do more things like that. I love getting feedback because it gives me ideas and things that, you know, I want to answer questions that you guys want to know. It's really important for me to make content that you enjoy, that, uh, you know, you find uh, valuable, okay? So the fifth tip is, don't worry about having all this. You may have tons of art supplies already, and this may not apply to you. Okay, but, but 10 months ago, a year ago, I didn't have all this, okay? And I was like, oh, but I need this, I need that. And I felt all this pressure to get all I need because I was learning how to do fluid art about a year ago, okay? I'm an abstract artist. I've been an artist for 40 plus years, okay? I just turned 50 this year. But I didn't have that one thing for fluid art. I didn't have anything for the resin art I do, and I did not have anything for my paper crafts, okay? It took me a year to build all this, all right? This table here, it was $50. This was a life changer for me. Total life changer. I cannot describe to you the $50 I invested in myself so I could be comfortable. I could have all this space underneath to if I want to like organize stuff here, I put a chair that I already have, by the way, I, I invested $50, the best $50 I spent. Okay. The best $50 I spent. So what you do is my tip is don't worry about having everything at once, especially if you're just starting like a new type of art, like I did. Okay. I paint, I already had some, of course I had oil paints. I already had acrylics. I had some brushes and I had some canvas. Okay. I didn't have anything for fluid art. Build up slowly. Do not put pressure on yourself that you need every single type of paint in every single type of medium. Or like I say, if you're doing sculpture, if you do drawing, whatever it is, if you do oil paint, you don't need every single type of paint all at once. You don't need every single type of brush. You don't need 10 million canvases. You get them as you go and you build up slowly. How do you build up slowly? Use discount codes. You can use the payment plans with some of these companies. I'm not promoting any company here. I'm just telling you, I'm not affiliated with anybody. I'm just telling you like, the tips I learned for myself, how I was able to do on a really tight, tight, tight budget. Look for deals, okay? Look for deals. See all this Primal Flow paint? This is my favorite paint so far, okay? My favorite paint besides the Arteza. They have deals. And I take advantage when I do have money and I can do it, okay? That's another thing. When you can do it, invest some, okay? They have deals. It was buy one, get one free I've got. I get the subscription box. I get a whole bunch of stuff all at once. Um, and so when I can, I've built up over months and months and months. So just build up slowly. And eventually, you're going to have tons of stuff you could work with. And then you'll be able to, let's say, try 
you know, new and different things. Again, I'm coming from a fluid art point of view, um, abstract painting. I, like I said, I do paper crafts. I do a uh, resin art now. Uh, some other channels, they have discount codes and affiliate links. I use them because it helps them and it helps me. Okay, it does. It's you support one another, you help each other out and it works, it benefits everyone, and that's beautiful. So don't worry about having everything at once. Did I have all these lights and all this? And these are really important for me because I do YouTube videos. This holds my camera. This was super, super um, helpful, especially when I was recording on the floor, okay? This grabs onto anywhere if you do vlogging. And these were like $20, $30 each. I am personally ready to upgrade my lighting game a little bit now, but this guy here, 30 bucks, okay? And I still have it. This guy here maybe was like $15, $20. Uh, same thing here. Each of them were probably like $15, $20 each. I've had them for almost a year, and they've been so, so, so helpful, okay? And this is another thing I had. I had this under my kitchen sink. I said, oh, I have this already. I don't need to buy this, okay? So build up slowly, and you will have everything you need to have your unique and wonderful art studio that is perfect for you and for your own niche of art. For your own genre of art you can do it i did it i didn't think i could ever have this isn't that sad really i never thought i could have this until i decided that i wanted i wanted it so bad that i just put my foot down and i decided i'm gonna move everything out of this space i'm gonna make this work okay what is my dream my dream has is to have a loft Okay, that is my dream. That is my dream is to have a loft. Right now, I don't have that. Okay, what do I have to create the perfect space for me? And this is what I came up with for myself. Okay, so this may help a lot of fluid artists and it's gonna help probably a lot of artists as well. Build up slowly, organize, use discount codes. Remember, organization is king. Use what you have and create a space that really fires a flame in you as an artist. So you have a space that you want to create and that people want to come into. I have something set up for one of my next videos here. I'll talk about it in another video, okay? I leave things out here to inspire me. What am I gonna do with this? What am I gonna make with this, okay? All this inspires me, okay guys? So I hope you enjoyed all these tips. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed all the tips I gave to you today. If you like them, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you want, to make, want me to make more videos like this, other things I figure out and find out and share with you guys. I love to help people. Um, I get inspired, okay? I absolutely get inspired to help people. Um, like I said, I didn't have all this, um, and I want to give my knowledge to you. I have over 40 years of experience as an artist and working in the art field, and I have my own art studio in my own house, which is a New York City apartment. If you have a home, you're even in a better spot than I am, because you may have a whole room all to yourself, okay, that you don't have to share with other people. So if you like this, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, give me a like and a comment, and all my social media links are below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!